Hola, Joana Granero from the London Spanish Film Festival for the Instituto Cervantes in London. And today I'd like to talk to you very briefly about the Truebas. The Trueba clan in the film context starts with the oldest of the Rodriguez Trueba brothers, Fernando. An inquisitive person passionate about film, he knew at an early age, when he was just a teenager, that he wanted to make films. And he made his first film, which title was Opera Prima, at the age of 25. This is one of the most representative films of the genre known as Comedia Madrileña, or Comedy from Madrid, that was so popular in the 80s in Spain. Two opera prima followed many, also documentaries, mostly about music, because Fernando Trueba is an enthusiast, and he's even produced record albums, some of uh, Bebo Valdez. The films are many, but perhaps it is worth mentioning Belle Epoque, mm, made in 1992 because it won him an Academy Award, an Oscar to Best Foreign Film, and that made him known beyond Europe. Set in 1930, Belle Epoque is about four beautiful sisters that feel attracted by Fernando, a fugitive soldier that Manolo, the, fa the father of the girls, played by Fernando Fernán Gómez, welcomes in their house. It is a very well-made film very well constructed, excellent performances and perfect balance between script and setting with refreshing and imaginative comedy doses. It seems that the idea to make this film came up during a conversation at a restaurant in Madrid between Fernando Trueba, José Luis García Sánchez and Rafael Azcona, the three scriptwriters of the film. It is these tertulias or conversations at the table probably accompanied by coffee, perhaps even whiskey, between film professionals that are also friends, talking cinema, literature, music, those that the youngest of the Trueba could enjoy and those which probably contributed to stimulate their own steps into filmmaking. Those Jonas, Fernando Son, has already made five feature films and received many awards for his work. David, Fernando's youngest brother, has also made several films, among which the film conversation with uh, Fernando Fernán Gómez, Fernando's chair, of which I talked in my previous video. And he's not just directed, he's also written several scripts and books. And um, talking about films and books, I cannot avoid mentioning that another brother, Jesús, also has a bookshop café in uh, Madrid, La Buena Vida, as you may guess, the film section is impressive. And David's daughter, with actress Ariana, Ariadna Hill, has already taken her first steps in film as an actress. So we have reasons to think that the Treva clan will keep going on. Um, the, the Treva cinema is not trivial at all. And something that they have in common is that their work is guided by a true and unconditional love for film of all kinds a great intellectual curiosity and much professionalism in their approach. And uh, from clan to clan, in the next video, I'd like to talk to you about another clan of actors and filmmakers from Spanish cinema that has delighted us with their work for generations, the Bardems. So I'll see you then.